Okay, see you later. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Loft Block. I'm your host, Sebastian, right out of Oklahoma City. Tonight, I think it's your first Monday night show, Don. We got Southern Flame. It is. Tom McIntyre with us tonight. Woo! And then we got <laughs> Dean and Matt from the band, the pop punk band, All Systems Go. What's on? What's going on, guys? I guess. I'm not Yo, that Monday. intro music is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, do, I, I still need to make a music video for it because I think it, I think it'd be more enticing, you know, the actual Yo. music video playing. But thanks, dude. dude. I kind of gets the kind of gets the uh, the mood going, I guess, huh? Yeah, gets the like, energy going. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so Dean plays bass, Matt plays guitar, and does some singing as well. And then Devin might be joining us later. We're not sure if he pops in, he pops in. Um, all right, so tell me a little bit about All Systems Go. What's like, you guys aren't even, you guys are still not even 30 yet, are you? Uh, oh, I'm the are, oldest one in the band, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 25 and 27-ish, that range. Okay, and then the band started, what, 2016 or so? Yeah, um, so I was, yeah, I was 21 when uh, we started the band. Um, although, like, we... Some of our, me and Devin, and then we had two other original members. When we started the band in 2016, we were in a band uh, together back in high school. So All Systems okay. Go is like a like a revival of that band, essentially. Hold on. What? Oh my god, I disappeared. Oh, and we I can hear you. How the heck did that happen? I have your from, avatar. <laughs> that's a sick <laughs> avatar. A little bit, and that's what happens. Well, I don't know how to fix it. We might just have to do it like this. God dang it. This is horrible. <laughs> Jeez, oh, when no. it's live, you never know what's going to happen. You never know. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Well, okay. This is, this is, this is new. This is new for me. And I can't, fix it unless, I can't fix it unless I restart my computer. So we're just gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it, all right? We're, we're gonna wing it. Hey, whatever. And you can see my face. <laughs> okay. There's okay. just this drawing talking to us. What the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least, at least Don's there. At least, at least you can see Don's beautiful face. There you go. Oh. <laughs> okay. So also we're gonna start 2016. You guys are a pop punk band, right? Which pop punk is one of those genres where not a lot of people are doing it nowadays, but the ones that are doing it tend to be a little bit more successful because they have a, a decent following. People that I'm telling you, people that like pop punk. They freaking love pop punk, dude. So mm -hmm. that's, you know, oh, yeah. so, so do, what made you decide? I'm assuming that Matt, you're one of the original members of the band. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did Dean join later on? Dean joined in 20, towards the end of 2019, right before we dropped the waiting room EP. Okay. Okay. So what made you decide to want to start a, uh, a pop punk band? Um, I'm going to take this like all the way back to when I was in eighth grade, like me and uh, my friends who were some of the original members in the band, we've always wanted to do like a rock band type of thing. Sweet. That um, story. Yeah. So we like <laughs> back then we all listened to like warp Tour stuff, like escape the fate, the devil wears Prada, a day to remember. Um, like we were all really into that music. And when we were starting to learn how to play, like, I guess like rock instruments, uh, mm -hmm. you know, drums, bass and guitar, it was just, that's what we were listening to and that's who we wanted to sound like. Um, but I feel like a lot of, cause when we first tried to start a band, like way back in eighth grade, um, like it, I want to say it didn't really work because we weren't as good at our instruments, like as we are now, like obviously when we were just first starting out, you can't play like sweet picking and you can't do like triplet chugs or like, you know, heavy stuff like that. Like, like right. you have to build your skills first before. So, you know, like, we started playing when we started our like first band in high school, like like tenth grade, eleventh grade. That was we started off with like pop punk, like that we like listening to too, like Blink One Eighty Two, uh, Green Day, because you know the songs are really easy to play. So when we started oh, yeah. writing back then, yeah, I feel like that's how we kind of got into it because we started like in terms of trying to write an actual song. That's pretty much just how it came out, and that's how we've been rolling since essentially. Oh, great inspiration! By the that's way, awesome. uh. Go ahead. I was going to say, find me a high schooler that can sweep pick, and I'll hang up my instrument right then. <laughs> <laughs> what was that adorable little plushie you were holding up? Do it. Do uh, we you. have like a hundred of them in the house. This, is a, this is a little guy, just a little dude. 
How cute that is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I just grabbed the nearest, uh, nearest <laughs> salt it's object. But... Adorable. So, <laughs> I, was, I was reading an interview that you guys did. I forgot who it was with. And someone in the band had mentioned that, you know, your 10 year reunion was coming up and kind of felt like they weren't really, I guess, as far in life as some other people. Don't you hate that though? I feel like it's a competition when it comes to reunions. I feel like everyone's like, look what I'm doing. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Like, dude, shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much how that's pretty much what inspired our, our new song, No One Does Homecoming Like Us. And I feel like now, especially with social media, it's really easy to get caught up in that sort of like competitive mindset in terms of just it like is. life in general. It's yeah. like I feel like you really only post like the best parts of you know what you're doing on a daily basis. Yeah. Here, you know what I'm gonna do? Don, Don, I'm gonna let you carry. Are you, are you logged into the actual uh, to our stream yard? I am. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna log out and come back in. So I'm gonna let you carry the show for a couple minutes while I figure this out. Because I want, okay. I want to be able to them to see my face. You know, I. I got gotcha. you. I'm I feel on so it. weird over here. Go right, away, Sebastian. Fix your shit. All right, bye. <laughs> so, guys, give me a really quick rundown of. Give me an introduction of the band. So we've got you guys. Give us um, an introduction to the rest of the band. Uh, well, uh, I'm Dean. I play bass. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Matt plays uh, lead guitar and he sings. We also uh, have Devin who sings and plays rhythm guitar. Mm -hmm. um, in my mind, they share singing duties. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> hey. <Great. laughs> and uh, then we got Joe. Joe plays the drums. So Great. Great. Yeah. What was the question? Did you, have to, did you have to do the band the band introduction? The band introduction. Yeah, I love to know yeah. who does what. And yeah, so. Uh, Rob, Canada Rob. I call him Canada Rob. What's he up, says, Rob? Don's the host. Hearts <laughs> and, and flames. All right, so when you guys filmed this video, so I got to know this. When you guys filmed the video, uh, no one is homecoming like like us. Was that back at your someone's old high school? Yeah, that was our high school. We're from Delran, New Jersey, which is South Jersey, like right across the bridge from Philadelphia. Okay. That's like right down the street from me, essentially. So it was really easy to film. And we filmed the rest of it like in my living room. Did you like – yeah, because you guys had like a bunch of people in your house like drinking some drinky drinks and partying or whatnot. Did you, yeah. Did you make, did you make everyone get COVID tested before they came over? <laughs> um, I'm the bad you said a bad word. I was oh, say, I'm bad, pretty sure. The C word. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody who came over was uh, like already vaccinated. Yeah, we, yeah, we didn't film the video a while ago. We actually filmed it more recently than not. Yeah, I think because yeah. when, when the video came out not too long ago, right? Yeah, it was a week after the song dropped, so like October 15th, I think. Okay, and did you guys have to get permission from the school, or did you just say like kind of like we're gonna come in here, we're gonna do what we want? So like after school hours, like you break in. <laughs> now, so we filmed we filmed the video on a Sunday, um, and like the track, they make the track public anyway. Okay, um, so you, okay, so you just went and did it. But one thing I wanted to do, just so it wouldn't be directly tied to the school, because there's always that thing of like I don't want people to think I'm like trashing our hometown because it's not really that type of song per se, like 100. percent So like in one of the last shots, which I think is also the cover shot of the video, it's like the Delran high school sign is completely blurred out essentially, but it's also kind of fitting of the lyrics that's going on. It's kind of like a blue, like delusion, delirious kind of like effect of the, of the okay. song. Well, that's yes. kind of cool the way that worked out. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I didn't want to don't like, don't zoom in on like the high school sign or anything. <laughs> yeah. Like it's not specifically about like our hometown. It's just like the title is, but it's more just about that feeling of like wanting to get out of your hometown. Yeah, yeah. A staple of the pop punk genre, a staple theme of the genre. Yeah. yeah. You, guys like, you guys should have had like the school mascot come and then someone like tackle the mascot. That would have been pretty cool. <laughs> that would have been pretty cool. Yeah, I was laughing. Or no, have the mascot it's, like. Uh huh. Or have the mascot like tackle all of us, like based on how the songs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that would have been, been cool yeah. too. That would have been cool. And then you guys talked about in your house drinking and the, then the, the mascot could have came and like. Shut you guys down and said drinking is bad. That was, that was awesome. Yeah, right. The school, the school would have liked that. You know, the kids, the, the parents would have liked liked your videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how, hey, how, did, for high school. <laughs> how, how did how did Dean wind up joining the band? Since the band started earlier, you just get rid of your old bass player, like just tell him to fuck off. And, <laughs> and here comes Dean. Yeah, so, 
<laughs> I mean, Augie is still uh, good buddies with us. We have a group good. chat of like the band and like the two guys that were in the band, and like we just like mm-hmm. chat like with like we're like old friends. Like it's great. Um, so uh, you know, we even talk with them about uh, like stuff that we do. Like oh, you know the uh, how like the music video filming went. Like we send them like samples of like the tracks. So hey, they're still uh, they're both both of them are still involved uh, in band stuff, which is cool. I like that. Um, I uh, I first played with. Uh, on a, on the same bill as all systems go um in uh the like january 2019 i was in this band called burn more uh burn more's not together anymore um but we uh you know we we uh for a little bit we were trying the originals thing before we like tried the cover band thing for a little bit um so we played an original set at uh, sage coffee house in philly and uh you know on the bill was all systems go and another local band called cat in the wall two great awesome bands awesome. you know i remembered them uh forevermore i followed them on facebook and stuff and, um, you know, at some point, All Systems Go put out uh, um, Garden State Skies, uh, our first album. Um, and I, I might I might listen to like one song and I was like, oh, it's pretty good. And, uh, you know, a, uh, it's all right. I'll go no, no it, it, it was it was even at the time I thought it was really good for a local. Yeah, release. Yeah. But um, <laughs> anyways, uh, you know, then I see months later, uh, Matt Peza puts a. Uh, a post in uh, one of the like local music scene groups, like saying that all systems go is looking for a bass player. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> cause like, you know, this is like, one in. of my favorite local bands, like all things considered, you know? Um, so I jumped on that. I like, I messaged him like, wait, within like the hour that you made the post. Wow. You commented on the post four minutes after I posted it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I talk Not about looking at it. Like, Man yeah. with a plan went yeah, for yeah. it. Hey, so, hey, hey you, if you don't jump on opportunity when the opportunity knocks, man, you got you got to take yeah, it. Otherwise, dude. you yeah, might miss it. Because what, what if you what if you would have waited, you know, another five minutes or so, and somebody else messaged you? So mm-hmm. yeah, well about that. Um, but no, yeah, <laughs> being a gig musician, you got to hop on that kind of thing real quick. But uh, no, I uh, I was like working, like uh, learning all the songs and stuff that uh, they wanted me to learn to like kind of like do my little like audition for the band so mm-hmm. i learned like three songs um and i showed up and we did this stuff and then uh come to find out i was the only bass player that had uh, tried out for the band <laughs> so i was like you know? so i was i was prepared I for stiff it. competition but luckily i uh you know so what what are, what are, what are trials like man someone's wanting to be in your band and let's say you get rid of a member do you guys do, would you like since he was the only one that actually applied but would had, had he not been the only one um, and he had learned all the songs, would you have still tried other people? Had other people wanted to uh, – or were you like he's he's kind of in immediately? How, how does that work for you guys? I'm pretty sure he either made like a dick joke or a 420 joke and me and Devin nice. were like sold before he even said <laughs> <laughs> You make a dick joke. You're no. <laughs> I was in the group chat by the time I left Matt's house. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. So like, yeah. That's the, like, you guys we, we bought it that, right off the bat. We took that into a – just as a general thing, like my dad and my mom, they, they said like don't pick the first person just as like a like a rule of thumb. If there's a lot of people who try out, just don't pick the first person and just call it that. Like make sure whoever you pick, especially if you're going to keep writing like music and songs that are personal to you and stuff and try to like kind of go for it, make sure the person's like pulling their weight and stuff and make sure that they're in, like in it to win it kind of thing. Because I feel like with how many shows we play, we've always had that kind of mentality as a band. So it's mm-hmm. like, make sure you vibe with whoever tries out first, and then like, as- like skills aside, like obviously if they're good, you know, but if they're good and you can vibe with them, like, th- I think that's what, like, I could probably speak for Devin and Joe too, and Dean too, like, however, you know, whatever the future of the band looks like, they, that's pretty much how we roll, I'd say, because so like our original b- band, like we've been friends, yes, we've been friends since high school. Like or before nice. then too. Like I'm like we've known each other since like sixth, seventh grade. So like that's the vibe we've always had, like, like as a group, whether and I feel like Dean definitely fits into that vibe with us now. Which like I said, Fantastic. we've really lucked it like like we really lucked out getting Dean into the band. <laughs> it's hard. I mean, it's, it's, it's it's hard it's hard when um when you, you have a bond and a friendship with a bunch of other guys and you bring someone new in who maybe didn't know you guys from high school. And to be able to fit in with mm-hmm. the band, uh, especially after you know you got been a few years now with the with the group, uh, you know it's it's nice to be able to find someone that that fits the personalities 
It's not, and it's a little intimidating, I'm sure, as, an, as as the newest member of a band when everyone else is friends to kind of come in and he's not sure like, what jokes to make and to laugh yeah. at what inside jokes he's not previous to. So, good job. Well, that's that's one thing I think that's great about the uh, like the punk rock scene, the local scene. Um, you know, unless there, there's like some like actual assholes out there, but like in general, most people are down to earth. Like most people are chill. Like no one's like judging you based on like what tunes you know or like what bands you listen to like everybody's like cool everybody's ready to get to know each other you know i come from the world of classical mm-hmm. music and it's not quite the same you know a lot of people are not really and they don't even always realize it but it's not not as accessible uh, like from a uh, you know personality standpoint so yeah no that's true uh, let's play your song uh no one does homecoming like us it might be a little bit laggy i'm not sure my wi-fi is a little weird sometimes but we're gonna play this <laughs> sometimes it's not sometimes it is you just never know it's whatever it depends on just whatever it feels like doing so let's play the song right now here we go go that that's a cool little like sign thing that was was that was that made for the music video or was that something you guys already had we made it for the music video like we put i put it in like on staples to make that like the day of because it's like i think we need a banner or like a flag or something because you know how bands like in those concert venues have those big flags behind them or whatever yeah, yeah just yeah. downsized version of that uh, one of our viewers sharon um 
she made a great comment of the first three chords say fun. And I had to absolutely agree with that. That was great. It sounds, like, it sounds like, it, it's like you guys have fun. It's like, it's like a fun band, fun lyrics. But that's what pop punk's all about, right? Pop punk's kind of about being silly, having a good time. I like the guy with the shirt off, playing the guitar, or, or playing bass. Yeah, that was great. And then you got some guy in his underwear, or like his pants kind of coming off. <laughs> I was also <laughs> Devin. That was <laughs> <awesome>. <laughs> the dad dance, I like to call it. Plus, you know, friends. Are, did you know everyone that was in the in the crowd, or was it just kind of like, "Hey, come on and, and bring somebody with you"? Um. So originally, well, we I feel like we kind of gave short notice in terms of like inviting people and stuff. But originally, it was going to be more like that. But everybody that was in the video was either friends from other bands, friends from high school, people we know, like siblings and whatnot. Like it, mm -hmm. like so it was all people. Yeah. All friends and family, essentially. Okay. That's now, fantastic. Your, your, That's Spotify, your Spotify <laughs> says that you guys have a lot of fun on stage. Um, mm -hmm. And you guys mm -hmm. have a lot of energy and kind of have just, uh, like, does some, anyone ever get naked almost? <laughs> <laughs> What's your concerts I'm, like? What's our concerts like? Okay. Um, I wouldn't say any of us get naked. If, if, if there was any yeah, instance of that, if there was any instance of that, I think Devin would be the closest one to. I believe to that from the video. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, but in terms of just like, I guess, stage presence, we actually asked Dean in like this audition too, like, um, like, are you the type of bass player that just stands there and plays? Or do you like go at like, we do like punk jumps and stuff. Like I, yeah. I've head banged where my hat like flies off before. Like when we, we go on stage, we go like all out most of the time. And that's just We're like, show, yeah. it's just, Bring it's just the energy. It's just more fun, you know? Like, yeah. It, and like we like we've taken Devin's. This used to be a thing. Um, in our one song, former years for more years, the drum break like the. There used to be like a Joe used to do like a two minute drum solo there. So he Devin what Devin would do is he would either order for himself a shot or for the four of us shots from the bar. Like he would leave the stage, go up to the bar, and then come back, and then Joe would still be soloing. We used to do that a lot too beforehand. That's awesome. Are you guys playing a lot of shows right now in in, uh, in Jersey? Do you guys travel around also, or what? So we kind of have like a like a system for that. So I would say as a band, we played about like ninety shows since That's like lot, 2017, yeah. like late okay. 2016, 2017. Okay. Right now, just because of like our like life, essentially, like all four of us are work. We've always pretty much been either working full time or like full time students. So mm. it's like, um. Right now, we're only doing like one show a month, and then once we, once twenty twenty two kicks off, I think we'll probably try to do like a show or at least a weekender every single month because like in a year that like adds up, you know. Oh yeah. Um, but we've done ninety shows before. The furthest we've gone has been like West Lancaster, PA, and then North New York City. Like we've played, I don't want to say every venue, but we've played pretty much every like known venue in Jersey. Uh, we played Philly so many times before too. Um, when we before, because Joe was the student the most, like, in, like he was in grad school, but going to grad school like six hours away for a while. Mm -hmm. um, so we would load up our show schedule in the winter time and the summertime when it would be like uh, winter break and summer break. So there was one the before the pandemic when everything shut down in the summer we played 20 shows in three months or something like that and then wow. in the winter time we played like 15 shows mm -hmm. and then the week of like joe's spring break we played like two shows but we had to drop off of one of them because that's when everything was starting to hit and then march 14th 2020 with our friends and win by two and estrogens um that was the last show for like a year plus. Yeah. Oh man. So tough. And you know, I, I think it's harder also. Like if someone's in a band and there's anyone in the band, that's a student going to college, uh, especially at grad school, it's, it's, it's almost harder to do, to, to travel. Cause when you work with people, have yeah. jobs, they can take their two week vacations. A lot of times things like that accumulated, mm -hmm. you know, time off. But when you're a student, you don't really have that privilege unless it's like, you know, spring break or, or or uh, or winter break. Yeah, and that said, going forward, like I feel like we're like we don't have the fan base yet to like obviously like tour the country and stuff, but like we can do weekenders and like we can use like for us like who work full time and stuff like paid time off and stuff like every now and then to do like a three day like run in different places and stuff. So we just uh, kind of keep it like wh whatever works for us, you know. 
Right. Awesome. And Roll with it. Th thanks, Sharon. I guess that was kind of a compliment. <laughs> I never sleep. I, you know, I don't sleep that. I, I do sleep, but I get like six, seven hours a night. So. <laughs> All right. And um, you guys do. Have you guys been poached by any labels or considered getting signed to a label? Are you guys with the label, managers, booking agents, any of that? We, uh, um, I mean, our. Um, um, our last uh, the uh, last couple of singles that we recorded, um, we uh, we um, kind of uh, spill the beans. Like um, he said, he knows he knows uh, this is live right now. You don't have to be. <laughs> and I said, I no, said no, 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 live. You got to care what you say. She's like, he's trying to figure out the best way to say it. <laughs> we, uh, we we publish everything ourselves uh, independently thus far. Is um, but. Uh, but in recording the uh, last couple of uh, singles, um, you know, we uh, we went to Gradwell House in Haddon Heights and, uh, you know, we had a really awesome, uh, you know, Nick Rizzese produced it. We had some really awesome, uh, like, people doing the mixing and mastering. So certainly the production uh, is, uh, you know, we, we take that to the professionals. But, uh, yeah. That's cool. Uh, were you going to say something? Were you going to add something to that, Matt? Um. In terms of like label stuff, no, not really. Like, okay. we actually we we were approached by somebody for our first album, and I'll just keep it at this. Like, we had kind of a, a negative experience with it, so going forward, yeah. it's like we kind of want to have full control over everything we do. Yeah. So you enjoy your independence. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think a lot of bands do. It's really it's like it's easier to make it now on your own. I well, with all the social media outlets and. Mm -hmm. You know, the different ways you can get your music out there, just as long as you're in the people's, you know, you, I mean, who doesn't like a good pop punk band? I mean, literally, I think everyone likes a good pop punk band. Even my dad, if I put on some pop punk, this isn't bad. He's, yeah. he's more of a salsa guy, you know, but he doesn't <laughs> listen to pop punk than metal, I think. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed the video. For sure. Yeah, it was. Uh, do you guys have a website? Uh, no, just our main social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and uh, Twitter. It's all yeah. systems go NJ on every every social all media. Systems go NJ, yeah. yeah. Okay, and do you guys have merchandise? Do you guys sell them online or just at shows or any at all? Uh, we have a limited run of merch right now. Like it's just leftover merch from previous shows. It's on our Bandcamp yeah. site, which is also like all systems go NJ uh, at or dot bandcamp dot com. Okay. Great information to have. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. If anyone wants to, if anyone wants to buy their merch, or I guess you, but you do. You, so you do have merchandise on there still. Yeah. Okay. I like. I was. I was listening as I was thinking of something else. So that's what happened. Something. That's what happened. My ADD happens. kicked in. You see what happened? <laughs> My ADD kicked. I was I, honestly. I was admiring Matt's haircut. So. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know. I mean. I. Hey. 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 Good look. This bump. This uh -huh. bump. To the baldies. <laughs> you screw all you people with hair over here. We don't, we don't need you guys in our lives anymore. In oh, fact, good. In fact, we need a new bass player, a bald one. I don't play bass, but I can learn really easily. <laughs> hey, I will say, uh, of all the instruments to pick up, bass is uh, not uh, not that difficult. So I would say it's probably the easiest. Yeah, yeah, I would say, well, I'm not good at any, well, I'm a drummer, I guess, but when it comes to stringed instruments, I, let's, let's, let's do like, let's put it like this, I would not make the cut. They would have, they would have tried you out, Dean. They would have tried. <laughs> if I tried out first, I would have tried you out. And if I tried out yeah. afterwards, they still would have got you in the band. All right? <laughs> all right, guys. That, that's really all we got for the show today. So everyone check them out. Check out their music video on YouTube or on this show. Check out their other music on Spotify, Apple Music. Check out their band camp. Don't and, go anywhere, guys. And maybe go buy some merch. Yeah, don't go anywhere. Stay right there. I want to thank everyone who listens to The Loud Spot. Please go to www.theloudspot.net. Also, if you would, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I know I got to say that more at the beginning of the show. It's not the end of the show. I'm going to work on it, I promise. I'm working on it. I'll eventually get it done. I just got to pre-write something. So make that list you talked about. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah. yeah, to make, make a statement and kind of memorize it, and I will. And also, we got a Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash The Loud Bar on Apple, Spotify, all podcasting platforms. And I guess that is all. Only I fans? Got. Only fans? I'm thinking about starting one. I'm thinking about starting one. Hold on, let me find a dollars. Come on, Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. Thanks, everyone. Peace out. Rock on. Much love. There you go. All right, let's go. This is the loud spot outro by nothing short of tragic. 
Is this all talk with no action? No. Is this my thoughts with distraction? No. Is this what I bought that's in fashion? Or is this the loud spot with Sebastian? Yes. Does something short of tragic have us back again? Yes. Does everything that good really have to end? A yes. pin post has a pin show, so to get more episodes, make an order. This is over. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to click the like and share button. Don't forget to go to our YouTube and subscribe. If you want to listen to our audio and pick up some cool merch, go to www.theloudspot.net. Peace out, rock on, much love.